In-camera visual effects can be viable in specific circumstances. Um, the downside to in-camera visual effects is you can't change it after the fact, which many directors today, uh, simple, a simple monitor composite, if you wanted to composite something onto that monitor and you had it for real playing in the shot, and then you change how your scene plays in post, you may have wished that what was on the monitor was a different portion of the scene then. Because if you, um, if you re-edit your shot and move the shot as it was intended to, to be in continuity to a different point, this, what was on the monitor may now be the wrong thing. So simple, something as simple as a monitor composite shot practically doesn't allow you to make any changes in post. So that's, one of the, that's an example of the downside of in-camera visual effects. Um, rear projection, glass matte paintings, they've been done for years, and they can work today in very defined circumstances. What they don't allow you to do is change your mind, change the camera angle, change what's happening on the day. It doesn't allow you to react to something creatively you thought of right then and there and decide to do it differently when you're you know, force projection miniature is only set to work from a certain angle. So those are the downsides to it. It can work, but it's limiting. And in today's world, most directors and producers react very fluidly. And if that's how you want to be, you're better off adding it in post. Mm -hmm.